Alright guys, tonight I'm going to be doing a GTA 5 video because my computer is not turned on and I don't feel like waiting for it to turn on. So I'm just going to have this set up how it is right now and just be doing some driving around and showing my garage. So let's go to my main apartment and yeah, so let's do that. While I'm on my way there, I'm, this will probably be my last uh, video for on uh, this for about a week on my PC because I'm going to be going away and I'll just have my iPhone with the jailbreak and screen recorder so in iMovie, so I'm just going to be editing videos through that and be doing Micro Pocket Edition and GTA San Andreas videos because I just downloaded GTA San Andreas. And I haven't started it yet, so I'll be doing videos on that on my iPhone too. And that'll pretty much be what I'll be making videos on for the next week whenever I'm not doing anything. Which would be a lot, because I don't do anything on vacation. So here we are at my apartment. It's the, uh, I don't even know how much this was, it was like a hundred cent for it. $175,000 or whatever, which one it was. I forget what one it's called. It's called the Integrity Way 26 apartment. And so, yeah, this is just a motorcycle I have. The only one I have, probably. And I do have two apartments the $200,000 one, which was my first one, and this one. But this is the one I use more because it's the High Life one. So yeah, in the first part of my garage I have the motorcycle I just drove here on and this the hot rod that Trevor has in story mode. Then I have my Zentorno here, which is bright orange for some reason right now. I don't know why I changed it to it. I just wanted to. But I want to change it back. I had a matte black with a ice white stripe on it. I'm going to be doing that soon. And my Inferno, which was my first or a second supercar I ever owned. And I really like the green on it here. It's the only car I probably like with this green. Then I have Franklin's Buffalo here from the story mode. As how it's supposed to be from the story mode. Looks exactly the same. I think just the engine is upgraded in it. Then I have a uh, matte black Dodge Challenger over here which is the gauntlet, I think, in the game. Then I have a rat loader over here with the uh, side pipes and no back on it, so you can just walk through it. I don't know if the glitch is still there to take the bed off of it or not, so I'm not going to put a bed back on it because I'd like it off. Then over here is the first car I ever owned in GTA Online as my personal vehicle, the Sabre Turbo. But it looks a lot different than when I first owned it. When I first owned it, it was just black with that stripe in it. Whatever it was, it was bleached brown, I think it was. And so I just put the better intake on it in the wheelie bars and the side pipes. Which makes it a lot faster. And bulletproof tires. And the chin spoiler. Then I have the Imponte Phoenix over here, which is... Um... Trans Am, I think, in real life. With the uh, big Superbird spoiler on the back. And then just two bikes on the wall over here. And I have the Sand King XL over here. I did have the bed cap on it, but I had it off because I was towing a bike up to the top of Mount Chiliad. And I might put the bed cap back on, but I think I like it with it off with just the chrome on the back. And no, uh, what was it? Um, fuel tanks because it kept getting stuck on everything in the chrome front bumper. So let's go to my second, or my first apartment that I bought. So we'll just set a waypoint for there when I get out. And we'll just take this into our because it's faster. Okay, there you go. Turn the radio off because I don't like it. 
And hopefully nobody tries to kill me because I, for some reason, joined the open lobby. I don't even need a white point because I remember the white back and forth from when I switched cars over. It took me like 20 tries switching cars over to get them in the right order. Order when it first came out with two apartments. So we're just going to drive over here real quick. Without hitting the cars. I need to upgrade the armor on this thing because it's still at 80 and I think I can do 90 or 100 now. Yeah, so here's the second apartment or the first one. I don't know why I keep saying second, because I just don't use it a lot. It's the $200,000 one. I bought it because the cheap one, because it's the only one I could buy at the time. Because I didn't want one of those little ones with the two-car garage or whatever. And hopefully this person doesn't try to kill me. So here we go. In the first part here, I had the Sultan RS, which was from GTA 4. I tried to make it look as close as it could to the GTA 4 version with the black and the red on it. And yeah, so that's it for that. <laughs> then here's the Dominator. Looks pretty much stock, except for the spoiler on the back. I think it's different in the window tint and the wheels. Then I have the uh, Buccaneer over here with the green and the black on the bottom and the all the way tinted windows in the wheelie bar in the uh, intake I didn't even know it had black on the bottom of it until one time I was just driving around and I looked at the side of it and I noticed it was black so I had to like stop everything I was doing and look at it now that I look at it I think I like the black other than all green and I have the Imponti Ruiner over here with the big pipes on the back. And I think that's bleach brown on the bottom also, like the Sabre Turbo. And I have the open roof version on it. And the spoiler of the oil cooler on the outside. Then here's my first supercar I've ever owned in the game, which is the... Uh, bullet I think it is but it's just a Ford GT in real life I think the only thing different on it might be the engine and the wheels and that's pretty much it because it doesn't even have tint on the windows yet I didn't do anything to it and here's my uh, Dodge um, Challenger or Charger over here the old one with the wheelie bars and the um, custom intake on it and uh, it's probably the fastest muscle car in the game, I think. And over here I have the Futo for drifting when I want to drift. Over here with the black on top and green on bottom. And the big exhaust and the drift wing. Then I have over here the Picador that I don't really drive a lot. For some reason, I don't know why I dri don't drive it. And uh... There's pretty much nothing done to that other than the wheels. And over here I have the, um, I don't even remember what it's called, I have to get in it. It's the Karen Rebel. And on this truck you can do a lot of customizations to this actually. You can take the front fenders off of it and put like the sport package on it. And put the uh, back on it that has like the, for racing and then window nets and that's pretty much it for that truck there then over here I have this is probably one of the rarest vehicles in the game because you can only get it certain ways and it's the military jeep but I don't not the military jeep it's the uh, mercenary jeep it's the Mesa but it's like the big swamping version of it and it has the big roll cage on it with the snorkel exhaust on it so you could go mudding with it and so yeah that's pretty much all of my cars in the game I guess 
I don't know what I want to take out of the garage. I think I want to take this so I can go drifting. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so expect a lot of pocket videos this pe the next week. So, um, yeah. It's going to be a lot harder to edit videos with uh, iMovie because I never used it before. It's gonna, I only used it once to test it out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to learn how to use iMovie, I guess. I thought that was a player for a second. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, and I also want to show you some of the light guns in the game. I have just the only special one is the pink carbine with the suppressor on it. And, no, no, get in the car. These people are trying to chase me down and kill me. I also have an AP pistol I can shoot them with. But for some reason, it doesn't show up. I must have lost it. What is going on? What just happened? What is going... Okay, they're, yep, they're hacking. What? Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. This is not planned. <laughs> There's a hacker just giving me money. Okay. Rockstar, do not ban these people if you see this. They're giving me close to a million dollars. They're already at 300 something thousand. And they're making me do the thing with my hands up right now. I'm not doing this myself. And now this person's just gonna beat me off. Well, that happened. <laughs> so now I have... Good, because I was getting low on money, too. Thanks, people. That just gave me money and let me go and out killing me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen, and I'm glad I actually got it on recording the one time I wanted to record a GTA video. And the hacker just gives me money. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen tonight. That's an advantage to be put into the bad sports lobby. Because I have a high mental state after doing a glitch. The walk on air glitch. I'll probably do a tutorial video on that. If you want to see that. And well, yeah, I'm happy tonight now that that happened. I'm going to go buy a new car. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully I get it up tonight. And so yeah, see you in the next one.